Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Soul Rook, Ariana Gray, Soul One with the Soul Snatcher. It's all right. You know, Soul's got a lot of athleticism, but she also got hurt, and she's got a giant knee brace on. Yeah. And I think she's trying to do what she used to do, but she's not used to having a uh, cyborg leg. And she slipped on the ropes a few places here and there, but the fans love her. She's got a unique look and a cool finish. So, like we talked about earlier, I think she'll probably make it. Mm -hmm. Roxanne is screaming at Ava, and Ava announces Lola and Roxanne at Heat Wave, and Roxanne's all pissed off. And then uh, a segment with JC, Jasmine, and Fallon, who apparently are going to form a trio. Hmm. So, our main event. Trick Williams versus Sean Spears with Ethan Page on commentary. Mm. They go back and forth. Double big boot spot. Oro Mensa goes after Page. They have a pull apart. And then uh, Spears puts Tricks in the crossface. Trick gets the ropes. Big comeback. They're going back and forth the strikes. And suddenly, the virgin, Brooks Jensen, tries to hit the ring, and he is grabbed by security. They never announce who he is. They play it up like he's just a fan. During the brawl, he yanks the top off the table, and it hits Trick in the head. Spears hits the C4 in the corner and gets the pin. Now, here's the thing. Well, first off, they cut backstage, and, uh, and like, it's, it's, uh, it's what's-her-face, the English lady. Stevie Turner. Stevie Turner <laughs> and Mr. Stone and Ava. And they're all going back and forth. Like, my guy, you know, uh, Javon won the Battle Royal. Yeah, but, you know, he got pinned by both these guys. And then this guy pinned the champion. And, like, God, what the hell do we do here? And finally, Eva goes, I got it. I've got it. Yeah. Let's do a four-way. And Mr. Stone goes, I like that. <laughs> like, God. So here's the deal. <laughs> I think this booking of Javon Evans is fucking terrible. I think that everybody defending it doesn't get what the issue really is. I know he's young. I know he has years of ahead of him. I know all that shit, okay? That's not the issue. The issue is he's a guy who, like, they started to give a giant push right out the gate. He went one-on-one -on -one with Elia. He almost beat the champion. He just, like, Ilya fucking Dragunov eked out a win. And it's like, wow, okay? You, you beat the guy, but you know what? You got something here. Like, let's protect him now. So what do they do? Well, you know, then they put him in a match, a main event with Trick Williams, a tag match. And that was the first time I was like, okay, you're doing this right, but you're also doing it wrong. Why did Trick get the pin here? Yeah. He didn't need it. Why didn't Javon get the pin? So then, well, now we got to start beating old Javon. And, uh, you know, they beat him, and then they did that battle royal, and he got the big win, which felt like they said, you know, we realized we shouldn't have beat him, and now he's going to go and have a match with Trick and Heat Wave. And you know what? Going one-on-one -on -one with the champ and losing, that's fine. It's a fucking yeah. champion, okay? But instead, he gets challenged. By Ethan Page. And, uh, you know, not even fucking... I had people on Twitter arguing that it wasn't clean because he had bad ribs. Oh. Bro, that's clean. Do you even know what clean is? Like, no shit like he had bad ribs. That doesn't mean it's not a clean win. He got beat clean by Sean Spears. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then, you know... The, the announcers don't even know what's going on. They think Sean Spear, or they think, uh, 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 what's his face, is the new number uh, one. Ethan Page. Right? Ethan. Yeah. And he's not, turns out. Even Dave thought that. Yeah. Well, the announcer <laughs> said it. I know, I know, I know. So then we go to this show, and, you know, the whole, what is what is the point of the entire show? Well, Javon's getting the shot, but fucking everybody and their mother's beating him. Yeah. That's literally why, the story why they're do telling. Why have the Battle Royal? <laughs> You know what I mean? So like, this guy got beaten by everybody. Yeah. Everybody's questioning why he's even in the match. Oh, that's great. That's doing wonders for that guy. And so then, you know, they do tricking Sean Spears, and Sean Spears beats him. 
which actually I have less of a problem with because Trick is already established. He's the fucking champion. If you're going to set up a challenger, then they can pin the guy in a non-title match. I don't have a, I have a much bigger problem with the booking of Javon than I do with the booking of, of Trick and him losing to Sean Spears. But at the end of the day, they're now going to do a four-way. And, you know, they'll probably pin Sean Spears or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he'll get, but, Trick will get his win back. But is Javon winning? No. No. So what you've done is you beat him. You gave him a battle royal. You beat him. You had everyone point out how they've all beaten him. Now he's in a four-way because you've basically proved he didn't deserve a one-on-one -on -one match, and then he's going to lose again. Yeah. And to me, it's like, this is every, this is two things. It's exactly what Vince did for fucking years, where you'd want some guy to get over, he'd throw you a fucking bone, you'd get all excited, and then he'd beat the guy, beat the guy, beat the guy. And nobody got over because nobody trusted, it. they did not trust the booking. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, Vince can't make any stars. You know, a fucking hard time he had making stars for years because of this shit. And then the other thing is, then I'd be at people going, yeah, you know, AEW does it with Wardlow. And somebody in NXT say that to me. It's like, <laughs> so what you want is to book like AEW to not get a guy over. Like, you're proud of that? Dude, one of the biggest problems with AEW is this exact same thing they're doing with Javon. We talked about it with Daniel Garcia. Exactly. We got a yeah. young guy, and, you know, we'll give uh, whoever, you know, big win over Jericho, and then beat him, beat him, beat him. Now he's nothing. What is Action Andretti? Now he's nothing. Dante Martin got really over a few years ago. They gave him that big win. Hey, Dante got that big. Beat him. He's just same exact spot he's in. Garcia beat Danielson two and a half years ago. Yeah. Where'd that lead? Hey. Nowhere. You know what? You can go as far up as Takeshita. Yep. Where in the fuck is Takeshi right now? He's, He's just another guy. Match. Remember when he beat Kenny Omega twice in a one-week period? Well, now he's just a guy. So if you're if you're one of those guys in NXT, and I know you are because I hear from you, that's always burying AEW in the booking, you're doing the exact same fucking thing with Javon. And no, I'm not trolling. I'm telling you you're doing the exact same thing. So either quit bitching about the way that AEW books, or if you think what they're doing is stupid, then don't fucking do it. So anyway, like to add quarter hours for uh, yeah. NXT. Guess what did the lowest fucking number on the show? Trick Williams versus Sean Spears. The Shocking. match and the overrun. Did the people lowest don't, people don't rating. People do see Sean Spears in a main event. It, it did the lowest rating on the show. You know how hard it is in NXT for Trick Williams to do a bad number? Well, they did. So, yeah. are the viewers trolling? Because they weren't interested either. So anyway, you had the opportunity to give a young guy uh, just the rocket up the ass from the day that he had that match with Ilya Dragunov, and instead you 50-50'd him and 50-50'd him and 50-50'd him, and now he's one guy in a fucking four-way who's going to lose again, and yes, it's not the end of the world, but you really could have made a star. And instead, you've made just another guy. So yeah. stop it already. Yeah. I, it's, I mean, they did similar things with Trick, honestly, coming up. But the difference there is that he got his wins, and then when he got to the title match, he would lose the one-on-one -on -one until he eventually won. Here, they're not even given, they're not even giving Javon a chance. They're cutting him off at the knees. And, uh, yeah, it sucks, but hopefully they'll figure it out and correct course. He's and I know 20. why they're doing this. Yeah. I mean, their their explanation is, well, we don't really have the faith that Trick and Javon are going to have a great singles main event on a PLE. So we're going to put them in there with two established guys. And the established guys also happen to be from wherever the PLE is coming from. So, Toronto. yeah, I mean, that's that's why it's being done. But to me, it's like, have some fucking faith in these guys. I mean, I'm pretty sure Trick and Javon can have a great main event. I mean, they got weeks. If they have to fucking practice it move for move, what the hell do you think that Sol Rook and Kalani Jordan are going to do? Go in there and fucking call it in the ring? No, I'm sure they've been practicing it every goddamn fucking day, so it looks great. And Trick and Javon have way more experience than they do, and I'm yeah. sure they'd be able to pull off a main event. Javon, I mean, Javon's been doing this a long time. 
He was on the indies for like three years. Yeah. So, People yeah, were acting he's... like he's brand new out of the fucking, you know, he's a volleyball player or something. <laughs> and he just learned. To... No, this guy's been doing shit. Like he can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Trick is the one that probably has less experience. But yeah, no, I, and I mean, and Sean Spears and Ethan Page, God bless them. They're not selling tickets in Toronto. I, you know, uh, I think Trick is selling more tickets than either of those two guys. But. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm sure the match will be fine. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sikoa or whatever his last name is. Paul Paul Newman is watching this match. <laughs> and he's not Excuse on me? Cody's side. <laughs> What's the matter? Absolutely nothing. Everything's no. great. You know, Cody did say that he was looking for a manager. I think him and Paul Newman would be a... What a handsome pair. <laughs> yeah. A dashing duo. That guy's a movie star, isn't he? Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.